This is most likely what your Notion dashboard looks like. Something like this, I tried to keep it fairly generic, something that a lot of people could relate to. Now, this is a terrible Notion setup. I hate to break it to you. So what I'm gonna do in this video is show you how to declutter it and how to make it actually optimal so you can be as productive as possible because this is not going to work. Obviously, this is just a screenshot of a Spotify widget. This is a screenshot of a weather widget, but you get the point. I couldn't even bother implementing these because we're going to delete them pretty much straight away. Okay, the first issue is this as a to-do list. This is just awful. If, if you're using something like this, know that you are not using a percentage of Notion's capabilities. When you have it in columns instead of databases, you are missing out on so much productivity. So let's just do some space here and do forward slash DA and we're going to do table view. Here we're going to create a new database and let's just call it task list. Now here we have all of our tasks. So what we can do actually is just drag them in like this, which is pretty cool. So just like this. And now we can delete this. We do not need that. So we have the task list here, but we're also going to want to see it as a calendar. So we're going to right click and click on duplicate. And then this we're going to have as the week view. And we're going to change the layout from table to calendar. And then one more change, we're going to change it from view as month to view as week. Okay, here we have the week. So the tasks aren't showing up. So to do that, we're going to click on this. And then here we could click on, let's say the fourth, let's say the fifth, let's say fourth. And then you can see they're showing up here. We'll get to the task list a bit later on, but first we're going to deal with the projects. So actually, you know what, before that, this, having banners like this that are super messy, it is not helping you. I'm just going to write sky or something and let's select a super simple one like that. Cool. And then I'm gonna change this icon. Having a cluttered workspace makes you so much less efficient. It is crazy. Basically your brain is seeing all this stuff and it's getting distracted and it's saying, oh, look, a Spotify widget. Look at all these photos that were up here. Oh, look at this amazing quote. Look at this photo. And it's it's jumping about. It doesn't know really what to do. And it's seeing, oh, the movement here of the, of the week and stuff. You, you don't need a weather widget. Unless you're a sailor, you, we can just get rid of this. Don't need it. Having a Spotify widget just serves as a, a dopamine distraction that's sitting in your dashboard. Oh, alliteration. We, this, we can't have this. The point of using Notion isn't to, to make a, a fun place to hang out. It's to make you more productive. And ideally, so you can work less and less. We, we don't want all of this stuff here. It's just making you distracted. It's taking you away from the stuff that you actually need doing. Okay, immediately, just from deleting this stuff, oh, and that as well, we're immediately having an easier dashboard to follow. So we have the task list here with the list, the week's view, Okay, so now we need to sort out the projects. So in here, I've created a fake projects thing with an assignment, start a business, and project notes. This is, again, typical of what something like this looks like. Terrible, we don't need a clock widget. That is pointless. We have a clock, we're on the computer or on the phone. We, we don't need that there. It's just serving, again, as a distraction. All of these distractions that I've been showing you, they serve as context switching. So context switching is basically when your brain says, oh, look at this. Oh, no, wait, I need to do this again. I need to get back on task. And it gets you distracted for a brief period, but from a distraction, it can take you 23 minutes to get back on track after being distracted. So you're just distracting yourself in your own workspace. Yes, it might be fun, but it's going to distract you. We're trying to work as efficiently as possible so we can focus on the stuff in life that actually matters. Okay, so this project's view, this is not going to work. Okay, let's go back to our dashboard now. We're going to do a new database here, and this is going to house all of our projects. So let's do database, table view, and do a new database and let's just call this projects. Now let's change this into a gallery view. So we're gonna click on these three dots here and we're going to change the layout from a table to a gallery. Now these look quite large so we can make these much smaller. Let's just make them small. And for the sake of keeping everything super simplistic, let's not even have images here. So let's just make these like little cards. So we're gonna change the card preview from page content to none. All right, so we had our assignment here and we had start a business. Now you might say start a business is a goal. I actually don't believe in, well, I believe in goals, but I actually don't think it's the best method to use. Instead of using goals, have projects, tasks, and systems, or at least that's what I prefer because a goal can be very lofty and you don't know where to go from that goal. Like, oh, start a business, where do I, what does that even mean? What, what, what do I do? But having start a business as the project means, okay, we need to have tasks in here. We need to have notes in here. 
and we need to create a system to ensure that this business is actually growing on a week by week basis. It's not a thing that we thought about and then we forget two weeks later. Something that we can do repetitively and create a system for. So before in our task list, we had all of this stuff. Nowhere is there a mention of going to the gym. Having your goals, like going to the gym three times per week, that is a habit and a habit is a task. So let's put that into our week. So in here, let's say gym, gym, gym. Okay, now we've taken go to the gym three times per week and instead of having that as a, a goal that you forget about and you're like, oh wait, uh, am I meant to be going to the gym? We've just made them into tasks and we've put them on specific days that we're going to go. Okay, then my other goal is to lose five kilos. What does that mean? Again, it's very lofty, it's very confusing. I need to make it into a project that has tasks and a system. Okay, the task is to go to the gym, there we go. And the system is that we do it every Monday, Wednesday, and Saturday. And then let's say we did some bottleneck analysis for lose five kilos and we found out, oh, okay, it's because I'm eating really poorly. Let's say on Monday, I do a batch cooking session. I click that and put that there, cool. Okay, now this goal of lose five kilos has turned into a project with tasks that we can follow. Start a business, we've put that here. I'm going to delete that. Grow a YouTube channel. Again, this is a very big goal. So let's say YouTube channel is one of the projects. So that's in here and we are going to delete that. We don't need the place for the goals here. Now I want to see everything related to YouTube channel and everything related to start a business and everything related to the assignment in these pages. So how do I do that? Well, I'm going to click on gym, for example, and let's create a tag called health. There we go. Click away, do the same thing for batch cook, same for this gym, and same for this gym. Now let's make this full screen. We'll go up to the three dots, click on full width. There we go. Now we can read this much more clearly. So now I want to see what tags do these have? So I'll click on the three dots, click on properties, and then here we're going to change where the tag, we can see that it's turned off, that we can't see it. We're going to click that we can see it. So now we can see, okay, health, health, health. Now the next thing is we need to know, have we done the task or not? So we're going to add another property, add property. We could do this in a bunch of different ways. We could do a tag, we could do a status, but we'll make it simple and just do a checkbox. For the name of it, I'm just gonna do a space bar. That way it won't have any text next to it, keeping it nice and clean. Click away and now we'll do the same thing. Click on the three dots click on properties, and then here we can see this checkbox and click that eyeball. So now when we've completed the task, we just tick it in. Okay, I want to see all of this health related stuff in my projects. So I'm going to click projects here and do health. So this was the lose weight and the go to the gym thing. Now to make it easy for ourselves, we're only gonna do this once. We're going to create a template. So we wanna create the template on this projects database. So we'll click on the down arrow here and click on new template. We'll just name it new project. And then let's just make this full screen. Now here we'll do forward slash database table view. And now instead of creating a new one, which we normally do, we're going to select the task list we just created. So if it's not coming up for you in your most recent, then you can search for it up here, but it's coming up for me in my recent task list. So I'll just click on that. And then we can copy an existing view. So right now the two views we have is the list view and the week view. So I'm just going to copy the week view, make this full width. Now I don't wanna see the title task list here, so I'll click on the three dots, click on layout and show database title, I'll turn that off. Now I know what you're thinking, okay, wait, I don't wanna see all this other stuff. I don't wanna see create YouTube channel, that has nothing to do with it, exactly. So what we're going to do is click on filter, add advanced filter, where the tag contains, and then here we could select health. So because this is a template, we'll change this every time. Now there are other ways of doing this that work more effectively, such as creating a relation property. However, that's a bit more advanced. So if you want me to make a video on that, then let me know. But I'm trying to keep this video fairly Notion beginner friendly. So here we have the project view with only the health related stuff selected. So let's go back. And now in here, you can see new project. So if I click on health and now click on new project, it will automatically load in this database here with the health selected. But for the YouTube channel, for example, I'll have to click on here. Now for the filter here, we don't have anything else to select. We only have health. So we're gonna go back here. So we'll click on create YouTube account and change this tag to YouTube. Let's make it red, that makes sense. And now when we go onto YouTube channel, we can change this filter to where tags contains and untick health and select YouTube. So now you can see only YouTube related stuff shows up. Now you could do it as assignment and only have stuff related to that specific assignment, or you might wanna make it more broad, let's say uni, click on new project, research for assignment, click on this, and let's say uni, there we go. And then click on uni, 
change the filter to where it contains untick health and click in uni. Now let's say you don't want health under batch cook and gym. You want them as two separate things so you can easily track how many times you've gone to the gym without having to not count in the batch cooks. That's easy to do. We'll just click on batch cook here and change health and let's just say cooking and then we've changed it. But let's say you still want it to show up in the health one here. Well, to do that, we'll then click on filter where tags contains health and then we can also tick in cooking. So now we can see stuff that's been tagged with either health or cooking on this health page. Now, obviously, if you want nicer aesthetics, feel free to change these. Okay, so this workout page, we can get rid of that. There's no reason to put it into a different page. Let's just keep everything here in the one database and then we can filter it down and see the specific gym and health related stuff on this page. We don't want separate databases for our health, for our journaling, for our university, for our YouTube account, for our blah, 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 blah. All of this stuff, it's getting too much. It's overwhelming. Same thing for our habit tracker. Delete this. We want to keep this in here. Let's say you do a short walk every day and that's the habit you're trying to form. We'll do habits. Click create habits. Then in here, create new. We'll select new project. Call this habits. Change this filter where instead of containing health, it contains habits. There we go. We can easily track if we're doing a short walk every single week. This is already looking so much cleaner. Yes, I know it doesn't look as fun, I'll admit that, but it will make you more organized, motivated, and productive, which is the tagline for my headquarters template. If you haven't seen that, it is way more robust than what we're creating right now and can do some pretty amazing things. If you haven't checked out the video, do check it out. So let's delete this projects page up here. We don't need that. Now on this YouTube page, what do we have? We have video ideas and what the lifestyle and blah, blah, blah is about. Okay, I'm just gonna copy this and let's delete this page again. And we're going to put that into our projects here. So we have the YouTube channel and let's paste that down here. I'll move this line up by clicking on the six dots and just dragging that up. Now video ideas shouldn't be listed like this as well. It gets very long and confusing and it's difficult to sort. So we're not going to do that. We're going to make a database. So let's make this full screen. Do forward slash data table view, new database, and let's call it vid ideas. Now these three ideas, I'm gonna select them and just drag them in here and then just delete these empty ones like that. Now we have a place for our vid ideas and by having it in a database, we can do so much more with it. One thing, for example, is creating a button where we can quickly add ideas into it without leaving this dashboard. So I'm gonna create some space up here and do forward slash button, create a button, add page two, select the database. We're going to select vid ideas. Again, if it's not coming up, you're just going to search for it up here, but I'm gonna click on vid ideas. Then we wanna add another step where we open the page. So we'll click on open page and then we need to select the page that opens and we're going to want to open up the new page that we just added. So we'll click on that. Now this new button idea will be new video idea. Click on done. So now when we have a new video idea, we're not going to click onto this page and then scroll down to the bottom and blah, blah, blah. We're going to keep it nice and simple for ourselves. We just click up on here, blah, 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 blah. Click away and now that video idea has been added to the database. So if we scroll down, click on here, we can see blah, 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 blah. This is so much more efficient. We're not clicking into a bunch of different pages, going back and forth. We're removing getting distracted by being in each different page. That is not going to help. It is making our productivity so much worse. And then we can do the same thing for notes. So let's just put that in the projects database for now. We'll do notes and an icon. There we go. Forward slash data, table view, new database, notes in here. Then we'll go back and do the same thing that we did for new video idea. Just do forward slash button, add page two, select database. We're going to click on notes in here or whatever you want to call it. Add another step, open page, select the open page to new page added, new note. Click on done. And now we have a much more efficient way of capturing notes. As you can hear, I've been saying the word efficient a lot. We are trying to streamline and work faster here. The more distractions that you have on this page, the worse you will perform. And the more clicks that you have to do to do a specific action, especially one that you do on a constant basis, like adding video ideas or adding notes, you are unnecessarily increasing the amount of time that you have to work per day. So notes down here, we can delete. And now we have the last thing, which is the journal. So in here, we've got journal as toggles, 1st of Jan, 2nd, 3rd, 4th. You know what? Let's just delete this right now. Delete. We know we don't need that. And for the journal, we are going to create a template. So if you click on the down arrow and then click on new template, here we're going to call it journal. In here, you can have all of your prompts. How do I feel right now? We can also add a tag. So let's say journal. 
So now when I want to journal, we're not doing it in a separate database. So this journal session, I'll delete that and do it properly, add a new item and click on journal. And then journal automatically gets tagged and we have the questions, how do I feel right now? Again, you can have way more questions. In the headquarters template, I have the weekly journal and monthly journal automatically show you all the tasks that you've done this week. And then you can label it if it's moved the needle or not. But again, that's a lot more advanced, so I didn't want to cover it in this video. But here we have our updated Notion dashboard. Now I understand it is more boring. I totally get that. It might not look as fun, but it will perform so much better. You're not scrolling endlessly, clicking to a bunch of different pages. You are just using one hub that features everything that you need. And you are not getting distracted from random dopamine hits with stuff that is not actually helping you. If you want to see my dynamic journal that I mentioned before in my headquarters template, then click on this video here. If not, thank you so much for watching and subscribe.